All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's that time. It's that time. Go ahead and begin the process wherever you are. Go ahead and begin that process of sharing, liking, and subscribing to this channel. I pray that you are on and in great shape tonight. We are blessed, highly favored, wonderfully positioned by God to do great things. You ought to be celebrating right now what the Lord has, will, and shall do tonight through your prayers. Hope and pray, those of you who are on the teleconference line, that you are sharing with someone and we're thankful for all of you who are on there tonight. We are appreciative of your uh, voices as well as your prayers. Those of you who are on Facebook, I see you. I see you. Hit that's right. You're doing the right thing. Hitting those hearts, hitting those thumbs up, checking in, logging in. Those of you on, on uh, YouTube, I see you too. Go ahead and hit those hearts. Uh, hit those thumbs up. Let somebody know. Greet somebody tonight as we join together in intercessory prayer. I want to welcome you tonight, and as you're coming on in, come on in. It's a good time to do so. I pray that you are in a blessed shape and that God has not only blessed you, but he's prospered your position, uh, put you in the right place today, and you're able to say that God is good. Thank you so very much for those of you who are logging in and logging on tonight. We are thankful again to have you, and we are appreciative. There we go. Wanted to make sure my volume is good. Um, we've had problems or I've had problems making sure that our volume is in great shape. So we're in great shape tonight and we're thankful for you. Listen, as you log in, log on, share this with someone. That's right. Somebody ought to want to intercede tonight. Welcome, welcome one and all. Go ahead and do so. I'll give you time to get that together and we'll get together in just a, a few moments. I pray that you are doing so uh, as you're sharing, as you're sharing, continue sharing this broadcast so that we can have a awesome time in prayer tonight. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Come on now. Come on now. Get those numbers up. Get those numbers up. Those of you who are on, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, or the teleconference line, let's get those numbers together and uh, let's get our shares up so that we might share with others. I see you. I see you. Come on now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you so very much. And I'm appreciative to what you're doing tonight. Thank you so very much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. All right. And we will have time. I will try to have time to shift you back over for those of you who are watching and viewing the Women's Home and Foreign Mission Convention. You'll have time to switch back over to YouTube and check that out tonight. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Blessings on, on your life. All right. All right. Again, welcome uh, to the intercessory prayer line of the First Mayfield Church, otherwise known as FMMBC Charlotte. I am so thankful to have you join us tonight. It's a blessing. Yes, it is. It's a blessing to have you with me tonight. I'm thankful uh, that you're sharing. I'm thankful that you're in wonderful position to share tonight. Um, if you are doing so wherever you are, I am so excited that you're doing so. I am Pastor D.K. Ferguson, senior pastor and teacher of this ministry. Blessed to have you with us tonight. Thankful that you have joined uh, us in prayer. Intercessory prayer, what is it? It's where you intercede on the behalf of someone else. You come in between that person and whatever else, uh, whatever's coming to them. You ask God's blessings, power, and preeminence. You pray that into, uh, you pray that prayer to God. God intercedes. He comes in between. He elevates. Uh, he blesses. He changes the situation, and we give God glory for what he's going to do. Amen. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for those of you who are coming on and who are on tonight. Listen, uh, real quick tonight, um, I am prayerful and blessed of the Lord to share with you as always. We always have a prayer focus for our prayer time. And I want you to go with me real quick uh, to the book of Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel chapter 30, Ezekiel 30 verse 26 Ezekiel 30 and 26. 
you'll notice there in Ezekiel 30 and 26, you'll notice this text, this scripture, it says, and this is in a different version from your King James, but um, chapter 30, verse 26, it reads, when I scattered the Egyptians among the nations and dispersed them among the lands, then they will know that I am the Lord. Uh, that's Ezekiel 30 and 26. Now, this message repeats through the book of Ezekiel, if you will remember, and if you're a good Bible reader, that he repeats this message that God wanted the people, the people of God to know that he is the Lord. And this phrase repeats itself uh, about eight times uh, alone in chapters 29 and 30 of the book of Ezekiel. Now, this is a constant theme throughout the Bible, beginning in the opening pages. Uh, we see God as the Lord uh, of all creation in the Garden of Eden. And then there, uh, Adam and Eve uh, were able to experience the glory uh, of creation until they uh, stopped thinking of him as the Lord. And suddenly, their fellowship with God fell out and they began to do things that were not according to God's will. God knows why making him Lord is so important. This is the starting point of, uh, for, for a life of blessing and fulfillment, receiving all the blessings he has prepared for us. Yet even believers, sometimes we can forget God and take him for granted. So that's where I want to lead into tonight. Uh, we don't want to take God for granted. That's right. Even in this season of covid uh, it's resurgence, and I don't want to make this a, a constant theme, but even with the pestilence that's around us and the violence, um, sometimes we can take God for granted. And, and this is the, I mean, really, this, this happens when we make ourselves the center of the universe and fall and fail uh, to treat God as the Lord. And when, when we fail to remember that everything should start, everything should begin, everything ought to have its genesis with the Lord. Why is this important, Pastor? I'm glad you asked that question. God wants us to experience fulfillment and abundance. This life starts when we make him our Lord. Uh, tonight, tonight, uh, we've got to remember that there are people who are even within the body of Christ who may not have humbled themselves before God. And we can't allow pride to dominate our life. We can't allow, uh, we can't seek to chart our own path, but we got to trust in the Lord with all our heart. And the scripture says, don't lean uh, to your own understanding, but in all your ways, Yes, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Let him direct your path. Worship the Lord and make the Lord your everything. So what are we praying for tonight, Pastor? Well, we're praying for people not to take God for granted. That's right. Don't take God for granted. Don't think that just because you're in a church or because you're saved or because you're a leader or because you're a preacher or because you're a person of faith that uh, God has, is obligated to do things for you. You can't take God for granted. Here we go tonight. We, I want you to fix your mind on someone and someone you want to pray for tonight, uh, whether it be Christian or non-Christian. Um, let's pray for people not to take God for granted. Thankful for all of you joining. And let's remember as we pray, we're focusing our prayers on the person and the image of the person we want to pray for. Come on, let's pray uh, in these moments. God, uh, as we humbly bow tonight, we thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for uh, the avenue and the blessing of life itself. You allowed us to see a new day, a day we've never seen before, a day we'll never see again. Thank you, God, that as we've gathered all across this broadcast family, both YouTube and Facebook and the teleconference line, we have gathered in intercessory prayer to intercede on the behalf of persons and people. We thank you for lending your ear to us and leaning into us. We give your name glory and honor. We honor you, God, because you're worthy of all praise. We pray tonight, God, that you'd hear our prayers. And as you hear our prayers, God, we pray, God, that you hear us. 
uh, that you hear us in these prayers to help us not to take you for granted. God, in the name of Jesus right now, we pray that persons whom we are thinking of and have image of their faces and bodies and places, that you help those persons whom we pray for tonight, that they won't take you for granted. Even in a tumultuous and turbulent and terrible time that we live in, where uh, time is still filled with swift transitions and we have uh, all kinds of violence and mayhem and damage and destruction and destructive lifestyles and devilish notions and demonic forces reaping and running and trying to rip us apart, God help us to focus on you. Help us not to take you for granted. Help us to humble ourselves and we pray for someone tonight to be humble in you. Help those who need to fear you to remember that you have the fear and the admonition of the Lord is the beginning of your worship of him. God, tonight in the name of Jesus, we're praying tonight for the power of Jesus uh, to help someone understand that you can't take the God that you should serve for granted. God, even those who are uh, uh, not believers tonight, we're praying, God, that they not be uh, take you for granted, that they won't take you for granted, that they, uh, they won't take the opportunity to know you and to have you and to experience you as their Savior and Lord, that they won't take you for granted that someone won't wait too late, someone won't do it uh, too soon, that someone will not take you for granted, that we won't just assume that you have to do what you do, uh, all because uh, we uh, tell you to, not because we tell it to you, but because you're going to do it because we ask so. God, we're praying tonight, God, that you bless us in a mighty way. As you bless God in that mindset and in that practice, we're praying tonight for Christians to not take you for granted. Just because our names are on the rolls of the church and because we worship God, don't uh, help us not to take you for granted. God, we pray tonight, God, for those who are sick and shut in, those who are healing from whatever, from whatever ailment, whatever surgery, whatever minor or major surgery, we're praying, God, for healing and that uh, we don't take you for granted, that we won't wait till we're sick to call upon you, but we're going to pray and call upon you even in our well days even in our healthy days, even in our sunshiny days, we're going to call on your name. God, tonight we won't take you for granted. Even if we've lost something, someone, some place, we're not going to take you for granted, but we're going to call upon your name in good seasons and even in bad. So we pray even more so, God, tonight for those who've lost loved ones through death. God, grant them uh, not only the relationship, but the hug to remind them that everything will still be all right. God, we pray, God, on the streets of our cities and countries and communities that you provide protection. And we won't just take you for granted, but we won't take the opportunity to ask you for protection on our streets, in our communities, in our neighborhoods right now in the name of Jesus. God, we're praying, God, for children and for young people and for teenagers and for young adults and for married couples and for single persons and for senior saints and for middle of the road folk and for persons who are, are real senior. God, we're praying for all age groups tonight. And we ask God that we don't take you for granted just because we've been around a long time or because we've been here a short time. We pray, God, that you continue with every age group and be a blessing in the relationship that they have. Now, God, we ask and we pray that as we've submitted to you, we pray, God, that you would bless and rain down a blessing to those whom we prayed for tonight. Even those incarcerated tonight, be with them. Even those who are not knowing who they will choose as their savior, we pray for them tonight. that They won't take you for granted. Now, God, we ask this and many other things in the precious, wonderful, powerful name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 
Amen. Would you just give God glory uh, through your amens and through your praise? Come on, give him glory uh, for what he's uh, what he's going to do, because you've got to believe it tonight. If you believe it in faith, God will turn it around. Don't take God for granted. That's right. Give God a don't give uh, uh, don't give uh, excuse me don't give him a not for granted uh, praise tonight. Don't take him for granted praise tonight. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so very much. I want to encourage all of our First Mayfield family, FMNBC Charlotte. I want to encourage you to be a part of the Women's Convention broadcast tonight. Uh, those of you who are on our live, you are part of this church family, please join on YouTube. Uh, I think there may be a link on our page, but join on YouTube, the Women's Home and Foreign Mission Convention. Uh, Dr. Linda uh, Brinkley will, uh, Dr. Lynn Brinkley will be preaching tonight, and I encourage you to check that out tonight. Uh, also, ask your prayers uh, for your continued prayer. Uh, for those who are recovering and we see great things are going to happen for them. Listen, be safe as you're out there, wear your mask, wash your hands, uh, wait six feet if you possibly can, do all that you can, be careful as you go, uh, and then be careful with your soul. That's right, be careful with your soul. What you're putting in it ultimately will be what you get out of it. All right, let me say thank you to these persons and these people who are on tonight. I am so excited to have you. Uh, thank you to Sister Pearl Chisholm and crew. Thank you so very much. Uh, to Sister Lucas and Brother Lucas, thank you. And the Lucas uh, uh, crew, thank you all for being on tonight. Uh, Brother Roosevelt Evans, thank you for being on tonight. And, fam and Sister Evans, God bless you. Deacon Wilkins, Deaconess Wilkins, God bless you tonight. Sister Brenda Thomas, thank you for being a part tonight, you and your crew, and always that young lady who keeps on getting young, Sister Gray, God bless you tonight as well. Amen. You got to be pressing for a great thing going on. All right. Uh, let me say hello and thank you to our Facebook family, uh, Sister Joyce Bennett, Brother Bennett, thank you so very much. God bless both of you. Uh, Deacon Coston, Tyrone Coston, God bless your cousin. Hope things are going well. Thank you for being on tonight. Thank you, Deacon Bannerman, said, uh, Brother said. God bless you, bro. Uh, glad to have you on. Sister Robert Wilson and crew, thank you for being on tonight. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Sister James and the James group, amen. Thank you for being on tonight. God bless you. Uh, Sister Diana McCray and, and the crew that follows her. Thank you for being a part uh, tonight as well. Sister Flora Faison, thank you for being on uh, tonight as well. God bless you. Uh, Sister Yolanda Hardy, our Wilmington crowd, uh, some of our Down East family, thank you for being a part tonight as well. Uh, Sister Vermeil Rush, God bless you tonight as well. Thank you for being a part. Uh, Reverend Rosalind Lewis, Aunt Ros, Aunt Rosalind, God bless you tonight. Thank you for being a part. Uh, thank you for being on. Sister Linda Henderson, thank you for being on tonight as well. God bless you and the crew. Uh, uh, Sister Shirley Drakeford, God bless you and family, the Drakeford group. Thank you for being a part tonight as well. All right. Um, Thank you, Sister Brother Brother uh, Jefferson. Sister Jefferson, thank you for being on. Sister Pam Gerald, God bless you tonight. Sister Ruth Hankerson and Brother Hankerson, God bless you. I think I saw Sister Teresa Pride on here somewhere. Thank you for being a part as well. God bless you. Yeah, I did see it. All right. Thank you. And then over on YouTube, over on YouTube, uh, let me see who's over here. Whoever's on YouTube, I'm on my way. I didn't punch it in like I should have. I'm sorry. Uh, we thank you for being a part, and we certainly uh, want to acknowledge you tonight. Thank you for being uh, a part, and if you've logged in and logged on, uh, we thank you. I don't see any names there, but we thank you for being a part tonight on YouTube, and we are so appreciative uh, to you being there. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Uh, we're going to go further now in grace and in goodness. Uh, the Women's Home and Foreign Mission Convention is on. And those of you who shared with us last night, let me say thank you. We had an awesome time. I hope that you had an awesome time. 
uh, my dear roommate from way back in undergraduate uh, 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 college days at the Shaw University, a uh, wonderful man of God, uh, Dr. Victor M. Davis, blessed us last night, and he was an awesome preacher. Uh, it was awesome to be there. Thank you for being a part. Those of you who either, even, even if you did not register, thank you for being on uh, last night. All right, let's begin the process of moving and um, moving forward. I'm going to share this link on the page um, on our Facebook page right here. And I will, let me see if I can do it. There we go. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to share this link and I hope that you will um, share this um, with others and that you will be a part of it. Thank you, Sister Ferguson. I, I, I did not forget her. Uh, to say thank you for sharing, for her sharing it with us last night on our page, as well as sharing tonight, our digital assistant. We thank God for her, and uh, it should be coming up on our post on our page right now. So if you switch over to our Facebook page, it is shared. Just click that link, and you can log into the worship tonight. Good, uh, it's been wonderful having you tonight, and um, it's been a blessing. Thank you again, Sister Ferguson, uh, Lady K, for assisting us, our digital assistant. She is so special as well as uh, DK. Thank him for doing what he does. All right. God bless you tonight. It has been wonderful. It's been awesome, but you do know all good things must come to an end. It's been uh, a great time in prayer, but I want you to join worship tonight uh, and be a, check out what's going on on the other side. Thank you again. This has been another, another broadcast of the First Mayfield Memorial Baptist Church where we believe in the year 2024 that this is the year of breakthrough. God bless you. Have an awesome night. Look forward to sharing with you later, but you take care and be sure to be a part of the worship uh, with the Women's Convention. God bless you. Have a good day.